Well, new at six, we are looking at an increase in this car part theft. That's a catalytic converter there in the circle. And Columbus police tell us 10 TV, tell 10 TV rather, this crime is on the rise throughout the city. Thieves even targeted a local preschool bus. For Crime Tracker 10 tonight, reporter Kevin Lander shows us surveillance video of that incident. It's the sound more Central Ohioans are hearing these days, the sound of a missing catalytic converter. In this case, a bus designed to transport preschool students. There's um, six or three routes that we just can't, we can't take children to school. On Sunday night around 1030, surveillance video from the Primrose School in Upper Arlington caught the thieves leaving a dark colored van, then going underneath the school van to start sawing off the catalytic converter underneath. They were here for an hour and a half, which I'm amazed at. Why did Crook stay that long? Here's why. A steel plate the school installed under the truck to prevent thefts like this. The main cat catalytic converter that has the shield on it is still in place because they couldn't get through the shield. But they had already cut the pipe, so it's just laying inside the guard. Unable to get the catalytic converter, school surveillance video catches them walking away with two other converters they sawed off. But on the camera also, you can see that the one um, person is armed. In the past five days, we searched Columbus police reports and found from April 5th to April 10th, there were 10 reports of catalytic converter thefts across the city. We are seeing theft of catalytic converters happening everywhere, whether your car is parked in a well-lit roadway, in the public, or even in some cases, people's actual personal driveway. 10TV has highlighted catalytic converter crimes for weeks. We told you about police busting a suspected catalytic converter ring in Franklin County, thefts at a local ambulance company hit multiple times, and thefts at Life Care Alliance that serves Meals on Wheels, where the thieves cut a hole in the fence to steal them. Police say it's not just businesses that need to be concerned about the rise in thefts. One of the unusual places that there is or does appear to be a spike in our residential areas specific to apartment complexes. As for this preschool, owner Justin McGee says the frustrating part is that 12 families that rely on his buses to transport their children to school are now inconvenienced. He wonders what more he can do. As soon as this is repaired, it could happen again that night. There's nothing else I can do to, to make it more safe. Kevin Landers, 10TV News.